Konosuba Season 3 just ended, and um, what are my thoughts? You know, I used to make a lot of videos on Konosuba. I used to be a huge Konosuba fan. This season revitalized my love for the series. Did this season make me just drop everything for Konosuba? Uh, no, but I still really enjoyed it. So, mm, let's talk about why the season's pretty good. But, let's start with some of the negatives, because that list is a lot shorter. With the negatives, some nitpicks are there, such as, you know, Darkness's father talks about her mother instead of darkness in the final scene of that they have together. But that's a tiny nitpick, you know, there's some other nitpicks like, oh, they killed the Hydra a slightly different way. Oh, this scene might have been interpreted a different way. You know, some tiny nitpicks, these don't really matter. I'm just, you know, when I watch them, I'm like, hey, that's kind of weird. You know, there's a big monster at the end of Volume 7. That's kind of weird. <laughs> but, tiny nitpicks aside, this season was mainly pretty good with the doubt and stuff. Outside of one scene, however, the cast raid. I think the cast raid was very, very poorly done, and honestly made me very disappointed in how it was adapted. I think the cast raid in the line novel was one of my favorite scenes in the series. It shows Cosmos' ingenuity, and shows him running down many corridors, dodging and defeating many cast knights, defeating Claire, defeating Rain, defeating Mitsuduki by shoving water down so then freezing it, suffocating him. That's all really, really cool and interesting and dynamic, but the anime didn't really show that. What the anime showed us was Cosma in one room fighting a couple guards with Drain Touch. And that's really it. It's not really ingenuity because he's just running a gauntlet. He's not running through the castle. He's just in one room fighting a couple people. Heck, even when they bring in the parts from the line such as defeating Mitsudugi, he just waterboards him. I think it was much cooler to waterboard him and then freeze the water, making him incapable of fighting. It's just really strange that they changed this stuff. Heck, in the line he shoots Rain's staff out of her hand with a quick bow shot, showing his quick thinking. In the anime, Chris uses Spellbind to nul nullify her magic, which is interesting? And then there's other cast raid stuff, like them not really invading the castle, they stepped one foot on the premises and got found out. When the light novel, they got found out because of Kazuma's stupidity over a porn mag. That's, that, that's funny. In the anime, it's not there. In the anime, Iris would have probably just killed them straight away. In the light novel, there's more reason why Iris doesn't just kill them. Like, there's a lot of stuff in that whole episode that I really hate, and that was unfortunately a really bad way to end off Volume 6, which is a really good volume in my opinion. Sorry if I'm recording this and I sound weird, I'm eating some cereal at like 6am in the morning because I gotta go to work, and I gotta record this sometime because I need to make a video. And the only other show I really had in this season was episode 1 of the season, which kind of played as a catch-up for the season. I mean, it covers the campfire and the train coded girl, and some anime original stuff like Kazuma being traumatized by Sylvia, and then wanting to become a muck, but then finding an infinite money glitch, and then Chris taking it, and honestly, I thought this episode just felt very clunky, and I think it's cool that they want to try to catch up on some stuff that they missed in the movie because they were stupid, but I just didn't think it flowed very well and just really felt strange to me watching it, but I'm sure people were very happy to the campfire scene, and if you're happy, that's good, I was just very, like, eh, this isn't really that good kind of thing with how the episode was done. But hey, now that that's out the way, um, this season kind of rocked. Um, to start off, the animation style, even though it's the same style of Kunsuku that we all know and love, it is much better. You know, there's no, no more Darkness's saggy breasts that we've seen in season 1 and 2. This is a much more consistent art style that doesn't really give way to that kind of stuff, which I never really liked season 1 and 2. I always thought it looked very weird. But here, everyone looks really great. I love the style. I love how everyone's proportioned. It's just a really good looking anime. I've always kind of said like, you know, season 1 and 2 of Konosuba, they have great animation, but I don't think the style's really there. Here, the style is great, and I can't really have any complaints. It's good. Another thing that's great is that they don't really go out of their way to, like, take away anything from the line level. Sure, some tiny things are cut, and that is unfortunate, but when they only give you 10 episodes to cover two volumes, that's going to be inevitable. But unlike the first two seasons, in the movie, they don't really cut big stuff, you know, in season, I believe, 2, they would have cut the dust party swap. In the movie, they cut the campfire in the final night and Begumin's village. And that's because they had it at, like, this huge final action scene at the end of the season and movie to be like, oh my gosh, it's, look how cool it is. Here, they don't really do that, and I think that's for the better. I talked about how they had the little monster at the end of, se at the, end of the season, and that monster's dealt with within, like, 30 seconds. So I really appreciate that they didn't go out of their way to like increase the action of this series and stuff and let us actually get all the character moments we needed. I think that's really good for this series. Another thing great is I think the writing for Darkness is really good. You know, I've always said that Volume 7 is my favorite volume. It's tied with 15 and 10 as my favorite volume. 
And this really reminded me why. Darkness is a phenomenal character, and her writing here is so, so strong. I'd say after this season, she's probably my favorite character in the anime, even over Iris, because that's how strong of a character she is. Her development, her character moments, the beautiful writing within her, it's really, really good, you know? I talk about Viper a lot. I talk about how Viper's writing is so beautiful, how it's some of the best in this series. It's the best in combatants. And I'm not going to sit here and say that Darkness is anywhere near how good Viper is, okay? Because I don't think she is. But I believe that Darkness' writing here in Volume 7 and some of Volume 12 is my favorite writing in this series. And that's a high, that's a high order, because Konosuba has pretty good writing overall. Like... Dark, just, just cut it short, Darkness is writing in this, <laughs> Darkness writing in the season was very, very well done, and I was really happy. A lot of the other characters were done too, you know, Megumin, Aqua is pretty good, I like Aqua a lot, Aqua's always really funny, she doesn't get the most writing, but she's just funny, you know, she bought an egg for like a billion dollars, <laughs> that's fun. Cosmo's writing is very good in this, I believe Cosmo in episode 10 was very very strong he had some very serious moments and i think the anime adapted those serious moments very very well and i appreciated that banya is really fun iris is really cute and really fun i like iris a lot i am excited to see her eventually get adapted in volume 10 of the anime or the light novel because i like iris in volume 10 a lot so it's all really really good you know i'm having a really fun time with it Everyone was pretty well done, and you know, I made a joke about Megumin a couple seconds ago. Megumin's fine. I'm still not the biggest Megumin fan, but she's not bad. She's just fine. <laughs> and I can see the appeal. Another thing I thought the season did very well, and probably better than the previous two seasons, is that it's just funnier. You know, I think the jokes are timed better. I think the expressions are drawn better. Sure, sometimes I think Cosmo's like really loud, like, dude, I'm in the same room as you. Stop screaming at me. But overall, I thought the comedy was a pretty big up a pretty big step up from the previous works in the anime of course that's just because i think the same with line owl thinking volume six and seven are better than the previous five volumes but i mean hey that just means the anime does good too you know this show is funnier than it ever was it's still a very fun anime especially when you're watching with friends man that can be a hoot <laughs> man i'll tell you what and i guess the final thing that i have to say about the show is that you know it's still good did it really revitalize my love for Konosuba? Did it make Konosuba back in like my top echelon? <laughs> Did it make my Konosuba in like my top echelon of series? No. I still like this series a lot, and I I put it. It's I think it's good. I think Volume Seven is phenomenal. But this season kind of reinforced what I thought. You know, it's good, but it has issues because there are some things I don't like still. You know, I loved Volume Seven, but one of the things that added of Volume Seven was the dust bit and i never really liked that bit i know some people think it's really funny but i've always been really turned off by it and when i reread volume 7 i hate reading that part you know and it's in the anime and i'm happy it's in the anime to get a faithful adaptation for people who love it but for me personally it just throws me off and it reminds me like yeah comes up is great but there's always those scenes i just really really don't like you know and that's fine i didn't really go into this anime season thinking like oh man this season's really gonna bring my love back for Konosuba because they wouldn't, you know. We that's that's not gonna happen. That's not how it works. But I had a fun time, you know. If I had to, like rate the season, I'd say it's like a really good season because it's from a pretty good series, you know. I think it's a much bigger step up from the previous Konosuba animation work, the Megamine spell, which I think is just just much lesser than the normal series. And I think they did a good job, you know. If they announce season four soon, um. Don't, you know, let me get come back so we just back to season two and then we can talk. But yeah, this season was pretty good. Although I think there is one more problem I had with the season. And if you know me and, you know, some of the things I do in my personal life, you know the issue I have with this season. And my issue is that, you know, I like Claire in the lineup. Well, I'm like, oh my god, she's literally me. She loves Iris. Oh my gosh, don't take that literally. I'm not a I mean, um, she loves Iris. I'm gonna make a Claire cosplay, and what does she wear? She she wears a white suit, you know. In the line novels, she has a white suit, you know, some gold buttons. She has a tie, and that's what Claire wears. But for some reason, I guess they forgot to add Claire in the anime because um, this isn't Claire. This is not a white suit. This is the gotcha design. Um, Konosuba, are you okay? D did you get add Claire? Did you get add my favorite character that I made a cosplay for? Did you? Uh, I I the worst season of all time. Throw the anime away. Thank you for watching. And hey, now that I got you here, um, sorry for not making a video in a couple months. 
I've been working on scanlation projects for combatants we dispatched manga, and when I work on those, it really takes a lot of my energy that would normally normally be put towards video making to the working on the manga. So I am I'm sorry. I do have some videos planned and recorded and partially edited, but I really love combats with Beats Patch, so I really want the manga to get out there, so I gotta put in the effort, so I'm sorry. And for the next couple months, there might be not that many videos. But hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope we see you in the next one. Peace.